a title later. There we go. Do you see us? Are we live? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you're tired, huh? A little bit. It's been a um, long day. I had a new start today. So um, yeah, I at a friend of a friend of a friend, kind of a passageway of Awesome Life helped connect me so I could get a part-time job. Yes. How was that going? And today was day one. So I woke up at 3.15 because uh, I started work at 4.15 a.m. <laughs> oh uh, my God. I cannot imagine <laughs> starting work at 3.15 in the morning or uh -huh. getting up at 3.15, starting at 4.15. Yeah. So... Yeah, I so I actually load trucks um, for UPS and it's awesome. It's I mean I pick stuff up, I put stuff down. So as a trainer and in fitness, it's it works. And it's, um, you know, kind people, I'm around people, it's an essential business, and I have a job. Uh, it's part-time. I know, but I have a job and it's like, you know, it helps me with the other pieces and it helps me even, you know, truth be told, help other people because we're all ordering so many things right now that I'm part of that. So in a sense, you know, I'm part of this whole delivery of all the stuff that we're ordering. So everyone can and should be staying home unless you work for an essential company. Yeah, I am so proud of you because, you know, everybody is struggling so much right now. And I, especially like our top experts at My Feminine Heart, I know like everybody has like their own personal struggle, their own personal Thing they're going on that's like extra yeah um and you know you can choose to have this as a time that like breaks you or you can choose to have this as a time that's like you know what I'm just gonna do what I need to do to survive like I know you were hurting being away from your family how hard it's been for you to be like isolated at your place um you know you, you've talked about getting a dog over the years <laughs> I know. I still want to. I know. <laughs> but like you travel so much when you're working. I know. And that, well, and that's the hard part. And now it's, now it's like I'm grounded. I was talking to somebody. I was like, well, now I wish, you know, cause it'd be a great time, but then it's the struggle and the money and even to get dog food or to care. And I'm like, ah. so there's those things. So I'm like, is it the right time? I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But yes, it's still in my heart. I still want to get a dog. Yeah. Well, Spencer's always like going to be like your little nephew puppy. I know. I need to come adopt him here once I'm free. <laughs> yes, he is dying. So um, we're having this debate right now because we hear different things like, can dogs be carriers? And, you know, my okay. answer that she says no. And she works at the CDC and people are saying no. Um, but like I was on the phone with my parents today and I'm like, well, mom and dad, what is the difference if somebody with the coronavirus comes and touches like your kitchen table and then you come and touch your kitchen table? How is that different than when you're walking your dog and somebody touches the top of your dog's head and you then come and touch the top of your dog's head? Like that's, it's a surface. Right. Right. I don't know. Well, yeah, I think, well, then you get into the science of it, but I, I, I mean, I don't know enough, but I would think that cellular level is a little different as far as like I don't know but, but I mean I don't know enough of where everything can survive so I can't even touch that stuff Woo. I know I'm not a scientist here at all mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I don't try to be an alarmist but I try to kind of think things through logically and I'm like yeah until we know let's be safe you know right yeah hold on I've got a message coming in oh nope we're good I was thinking okay. there was an issue with our lives. So welcome everybody. We're just chit-chatting. I'm here with Megan Hayes. It is Trans Tuesday. This is our inaugural um, Tuesday, 8 p.m. podcast. If you're here with us on the East Coast. Oh, hold on. Notice my computer's not plugged in. Oh, get that. that. Cause I was doing something the other day and mine almost died. I was like, hold on, the world has to stop. <laughs> yeah, we literally, Lindsay and I did a seminar together on Facebook Live the other week, and um, it was supposed to be a Zoom conference live to Facebook, just like you and I are doing right now, but it wouldn't work, so I had to spin the computer around, and I had to film it from my phone, and because I wasn't prepared to film it from my phone, and we were, like, doing it last minute, um, I had my phone plugged in, so we're, like, an oh. hour and a half into the seminar, and I'm, like, <laughs> we gotta stop. Like my phone's about to die anyway. So like, we need to wrap all this up right now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, no, I got it. Mine was um, blinking at me on my computer and I was on a Zoom call and I was just like, um, hold on a minute and had to like find the cord and everything. So yeah. Totally oh, so we've got some people joining us today. So Chloe Whips is hi, Cass and Megan. Joanne Carroll Hello. says hi there. Hello. Oh, it's so nice to have you ladies with us. Um, so I I enjoyed the Facebook Live so much. So, you know, when the Keystone Conference canceled, I said, I am going to find a way to stream these live and try to make them as interactive as possible because they are supposed to be these in-person live seminars. So, right. you know, how can we do it? So um, figured it out. Zoom is a miracle worker when it's working, as you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and now that the Keystone Conference that it would have happened has passed, the three seminars that I had promised to give, I've, I've given, and we've, we found a way to stream them. If you haven't seen them yet, please go watch them. Um, they were so fun to do. And I loved having this connection. I loved being able to talk with everybody like live on screen, the interactions. In fact, I need to go back over to the Facebook page so I can see the comments coming in. It just, oh, they're great. It, it meant the world to me. Uh, so I was like, let's do this. Let's do this every week. Like this was so fun. Like, even if it's just saying, Hey, how, how are you guys all doing? Is everyone feeling okay out there? Leah says, Hey, Hey girls. Hello. Hmm. So, um, Meg is, we, we met Meg last week for the first time. One of our top experts, amazing fitness goddess. Thank you so much for joining the, my feminine heart team. Always. So Meg has, has joined the ranks and, um, we saw her initial podcast last week and you were also part of the, my feminine heart live streaming the meet the team. That was Friday mm -hmm. at 2 PM, which was mania because it was like, what it was awesome. One of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was nuts. I'm like this zoom conference. Um, and then hopefully you will see more from Meg this week that, um, I wanted to rush and get her second podcast up because it's all about staying healthy while we're home in quarantine and making sure that we're not getting injured while we're working out. So um, we tried Zoom, Zooming it today and Zoom is feeling <laughs> us. Brutal. Um, I think yeah. the world is on Zoom right now. So it was definitely overloaded. So we're gonna try to find a way to get it recorded. We're gonna try again tomorrow. If it doesn't work, we're gonna pick some random odd hour that like no one's on the internet. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> and then we I know. I, like that's even possible anymore. Like I don't even know. I mean, part of that's because I'm up weird hours anyways, but yeah. So hopefully we can get it tomorrow. I won't be so glitchy. Yeah, we'll make it work. We were having some audio issues. So everyone just please bear with us. I know it's like brutal that we have to do all this stuff online now instead of in person, which would be so fun. It would be. I miss hugging. I just wrote somebody that I was like, I'm hugging you. And I'm like, I really miss hugging and now I'm scared nobody's gonna want to hug me Cass and I'm a hugger I will hug you again someday I okay. promise we will all once again someday be hugging <laughs> good because I would yes. like that we I miss it. it work we will make it work so but I should preface so what y'all are going to see from my feminine heart is you're probably going to see a mix of like current podcasts happening right now and some older ones that I have recorded and pocketed away because I'm a squirrel and when I got to sit down with a lot of um, the guests of my feminine heart, you'll probably notice sometimes we're in the same clothes or not really changing up the hair all that much. Um, sometimes I'm knocking out like two, three podcasts at one time because it's hard. Like Lindsay Tab, she's like down in DC. You know, Sarah Moore, she's up in Boston. Like I'm knocking yeah. a few of those out at a time. So yep. we're going to be seeing a mix of some old stuff and some current stuff. It'll be fun. It'll be good. It, I mean, it was amazing even what we did on Friday, all that interaction. Um, oh my learning oh my too. God. I had an absolute blast. I was like stuff with credit, stuff with safety, stuff with fashion, stuff with then just even me, myself and I, and then reminding me to do my resume. Like this is like the plethora of all the stuffs that was on there. And it was amazing. And to reach out and talk to people through coaching. And then of course my stuff on fitness, but I, it was still phenomenal. Like just everybody was out. 
and we had such a range. And one of the things that I think was hardest, because I felt like I was like the moderator. So it's funny, I try, I haven't even watched the whole thing yet. I've gone back and I've watched half of it because I wanted to just enjoy it and absorb the information versus like trying to coordinate. Because I would have like, people would be texting me too. Like, you know, things are going down with my business. I got to get off this call now. Um, but, you know, like moments before we went on that seminar is when we found out that we were having another shutdown of our businesses. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we watched like immediately, like that seminar was in total reaction to COVID-19 and we're watching our people really like react to it. Like Alexandria had to do her entire bit for the seminar in the beginning and then call the state health board to see if she could even still do her live seminars yeah. alone in her store. Yep. And yeah. that, I mean, and that just tells you how important everything is but and how everything is, there's a, a little bit of a constant move and we're learning about it and it's statewide, countrywide, um, countries, <laughs> you know, when you look at that and it, it's definitely something new for us and uh, just going to this online world. Um, some of us has been in this space. Some of us have worked from home. I know Cass, you've talked to me about how you have, and I used to work from home for years. And there's so many things that are so important to remember that when you were going to work, you actually had, if you will, a schedule, right? So you knew you had to leave your house by X time to get to your job by this time. You'd get this break, this lunch, or you'd have lunch with colleagues. You'd have these meetings and then you'd get home or you'd go to the gym or you'd have your workout in the morning, whatever, but you had a routine, right? And we're missing that now. And yeah, like it's, it's totally brutal. And for me, you know, I'm used to working from home and I uh -huh. am a very routine person, um, but I'm not used to my husband working from home. And so we've had to balance that out yep. it took about four days until I told him like, I can't work up in the office every single day. Um, and then he was like, well, why aren't you working down here with me? And I'm like, well, it's kind of loud. And then he understood that he was listening to 12 hours of phone calls on speakerphone moving throughout the entire first floor of our house, just, just owned the space. Mm -hmm. And like, sometimes I want to work at my kitchen table. Sometimes I work at the dining room table. Sometimes I'm at the bar. Like I need to like change it up to stay creatively flowing. So like to be stuck in my office every single day with the door closed, that didn't work real well for us. So yeah. like, the routines are hard, even for us who are used to working from home, we're still having to adjust. Well, because now there's new people in your space. <laughs> These other people got quarantined at home. Um, I actually talked to two of my clients uh, today and in our conversation, it was about the, I, I'm not even sure I like the phrase new normal because uh, I don't even know what normal is, but it's, it was more just about a new schedule and to look at it, where are you going to give yourself grace? How are you going to actually look at this and be intentional about it? So we talked about doing things at night and saying, okay, what's going to happen for me tomorrow? And just looking at the intentions of what time am I getting up? When is my workout? When am I going to eat? And what am I going to eat? Where or when am I going to work? How long? When my breaks are? And again, is that workout before you work, during, or after? And actually putting that all down to the best of your ability the night before. So you're prepared when you wake up. That this is your intention. This is what you're going to do. And we talk through it. And then their job is at the end of that day to review it, mark it up, what went well, did they like their workout, did they achieve things, and then create the next day. But it's all with an intention base of creating a new schedule, creating what you want, because we all can do that. You can be creative, you can adjust the space, and if you have new people in your life, ask them to move around, like you even said you did with your husband, you know, to be like, hey, I want this space for a day. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it was like a simple thing. He put the headphones in and that was it. But like last night, um, like, you know, we're so regimented that, you know, we work out during the week. I mean, we'll work out week during the week and weekend. How would you like an all access pass to watch all of our interviews and the exclusive Cassandra Storm solo seminar series to unlock discounts on products and services, adding up to the hundreds or thousands of dollars from our top experts. All this can be yours for just $9 a month, and you can cancel at any time. Sign up today at myfeminineheart.com. We are so excited to share this journey with you.